By the end of today, six men will have taken their own lives in Australia. That's three quarters of the total average number of suicides every day. Those six will be from both the city and the bush, be both young and old, and come from a diverse range of backgrounds. But they will all share one thing in common. Those six will leave behind devastated loved ones who had no idea they were struggling so much. It's because research shows that men are much, much less likely to seek help for acute mental health issues, including suicide risk. Blokes just don't reach out when they're struggling. And that presents a massive problem in trying to turn around this horrific statistic. It's why suicide is the leading cause of death in Australian men aged 15 to 44. It takes more than double the number of victims than the national road toll. In 2017, the number of suicides increased 9% in Australia, the majority of them men. That's despite a huge focus on reducing the stigma of mental illness and a growing investment in awareness and treatment. But men's mental health is under-resourced and a rarely spoken about issue. Experts say we need to and we can do much more to support Australian men who are struggling. We need to encourage them to speak up without feeling shame, to seek help and to survive. And there are positive signs. There are a number of peer-based support services that are making big differences in vulnerable parts of the male population. And they're doing it in ways that men find accessible and non-threatening. There's a group called HALT, Hope Assistance Local Tradies. It's focused on tradesmen who are 2.3 times more likely to take their own lives than other blokes, and 10 times more likely to die by suicide than in a workplace accident. Yeah, I think we struggle, us Australian men, to uh, you know put our hands up for counselling or support. But it doesn't preach at men or demand they go to some stuffy shrink's office, it does a barbecue at a local footy club or hands out bacon and egg rolls at a Bunnings, along with some information about warning signs and support services that are tailored to men. The vision is that every trade in Australia looks after their mental health. Then there's Tomorrow Man. It's a school program targeting boys, another hugely at-risk cohort. They go to an all-in workshop to learn about emotional intelligence, tries to break the expectation that young men need to be tough always and never vulnerable. And connecting with guys and realising that you're not alone with, with the fears or challenges or insecurities, we've all got them. Um, and it can be really freeing once you know that you're not alone with it. It celebrates the good and important traits of masculinity while also making it okay to not be okay sometimes. I guess the point is that if men are at significantly higher risk, we need to approach the issue in a way that's suitable for men, that men will actually engage with. And we need to remind the men in our lives that help is out there.